Hello, hello. Welcome back to Conscious Evolution. I just got an interesting, uh, what do you call those things? A uh, comment on one of my videos here. And of course now my internet won't work and we'll just go and turn it off and use data. So I got an interesting comment that earlier from Jody, Reiki Medium 3333, the lady I did the, my last distance healing session with, my last distance healing session with, she wrote me a comment on my last video. Um, and she said something that I have, okay, so we we're talking about the Seth materials and she mentioned two other YouTubers and she said uh, about she likes the Cryon and Bashar. We talk, uh, she mentioned all those things of, you know, similar things to the Seth materials. <laughs> and how she's been like really crying, like really purging some, some deep emotions and really getting past some really deep blocks, you know, really, really moving past those things, which... I think maybe a combination of that and uh, the session or the session it could have been a catalyst to have her feel a little bit deeper I mean that's what these frequencies do it's like they it's like they connect you to your your guides a little bit more your spirit realm a little bit more I mean that's that's what they do they they remind us who you are you know it's like a flick you know like flicks a switch inside and it activates that that spirit inside of us and it's on after that you know it's it's amazing and then you you just feel reconnected with everything you get the emotions are stronger you love stronger everything's a heightened emotion and it's amazing so at the end of her comment she said um okay so let, let's just back up i'll read it real quick says she likes crying on channel by lee carroll and oh by the way interesting thing happened since my session and it may not be connected with all the ascension energy and planets but who knows my dreams are clear and i've been crying and not just a little bit i mean the real the, the really bad ugly cry with the headache at the end which is strange because i haven't cried for a few years so blocks are still being released you know, it just shows like whenever if you ever think you're done purging these energies or you know or getting past your your blocks it's <laughs> you're just being opened up to a whole new whole new batch of issues that i mean we're talking about an entire lifetime of of baggage to get by you know so my blocks are still being released Thank you and keep going, AJ. This is what you're supposed to be doing and you have at least three helpers on the other side guiding you. So I was like, hmm, interesting. Do tell. So I uh, I left a reply, I said, thank you, Jody. And I like some of crying stuff too. I've not heard of the other two YouTubers. I will definitely check them out. Thank you again. Curious, I have three helpers or guides so i was curious so she responded uh yes guides or maybe family it wasn't very clear but i will focus in on it i'll focus on it and see if i can figure it out for you cool sweet that was an hour ago and you know five minutes ago she said she left another comment she said okay so far i can see whoops no i don't hold on sorry guys sorry 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 so far I can see one of the guides, he looks younger and he follows you around. He has a list that he keeps checking things off, making sure making sure you are getting the information on your contract is the word I heard. The three of them feel very advanced, kind of like from the future advanced. That's interesting. I don't usually get info on guides. Usually I am talking to people who are related to my clients and passed away. Maybe once in a while I get guide information. If I get anything else, I'll let you know. I think you helped me with my mediumship skills. Yay, thank you. You're welcome, Jody. My pleasure. We should do another session in about a week or two. 
let that one settle in a little more and then we'll zap you again <laughs> uh, bonesy likes to call it zap he likes to zap people <laughs> uh, you gotta have fun in life you know i mean life's freaking short well the physical life is anyway I and mean, you're here to experience it and to, to learn your your lessons and it's all a it's all a big game you know we just take shit so damn seriously it's it's ugh. all right then that, that's what I was, I was writing to her before I read the whole comment I was like yeah I was writing her comment before as she sent me the last one about the the guides the three guys want the like a checklist to make sure I get the information First of all, let's let's talk about that for a second. Holy crap! I've never heard anything like that before. No one's ever got that from me. This other person I I talk to that does like card readings and you know they do the tarot and they're they're uh, also a medium. They just told me that they just hear ascending, like I guess when they they speak to the the entities or the spirit guides or higher selves or whatever it may be. I don't know. But she just told me, she's like, you're ascending. And it's very clear that it, that's coming through as, as, as you're ascending. So these are the two, two, two breadcrumbs I've been given in the last month, probably. And in this, wow, man. I mean, it absolutely fascinates me. Absolutely fascinates me. I, ain't, I absolutely know there's another realm dimension or reality right on top of us and they are you're constantly surrounded by other beings your guides and your higher self which is you but you have you have your guides and your helpers and your people that you orchestrated this game with that you that you set up with you know and they're always around you but even on that there's 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 no time time is a construct that is a, a, of linear thinking we it's an illusion it, time doesn't exist everything is is now the past present and future all happens now so everything is here right here right now it's just crazy so there's there's probably many people beings just because there might not be in a physical form doesn't mean that they're not that they don't exist and I always feeling when these these beings or spirits or people come in close proximity to me because I can feel it you know the feeling you get when like when you hear information and it really resonates with you you feel it like in your chest and in your gut like you know it's true and then like that feeling you get when you feel like someone's watching you that's that you get the same feeling in your gut you know trust that feeling that it's a real feeling that's the energy centers in your body picking up there's another consciousness around you so talk to it acknowledge it let them know it's there you know i asked my guides and and you know i asked them several months ago whoa 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 nobody asked you to start talking talking to myself <laughs> I asked my guides for, you know, divine intervention months ago. I gave them permission to, to, I don't know, contact me or help me in any way. And I forgot about that. And then, you know, later on, I think that was way before I got the vision. So I think I may have set this all in motion. I was desperately seeking out my higher self. Like I had to know. And then I asked, uh, Lori Ladd, I believe, said, all you got to do is ask. You know, you got to tell them that you want them to intervene because otherwise you have free will and, and they won't intervene. They might help and try to put things in your path to, to help you along in your journey. But if you're unaware of this non-physical aspect of the world, of these realms, of these beings, then you're gonna think everything's a coincidence coincidences and accidents are what we use to justify that paranormal side if you see something that doesn't make sense to you 
oh it was just a coincidence oh it was just an accident oh it just happened you rationalize it away and, and you justify it in your head you talk yourself out of something real and paranormal just happened and it's been happening to me my entire life but I was scared of it and I shut it down and it took me 30 years to get it back 30 years to learn what was really going on and now that I'm aware of it, wow, man, it's not something to be afraid of. Embrace it. This is why you're here. Wow, man, that is, that stuff's just deep right there. Thank you, Jody. I uh, really appreciate that comment. I'm so happy that you, you said that. I feel like that's another piece of the puzzle. Another breadcrumb, another dot connected, if you will. I wonder if you can see me better if I stay right here. Nope. I'm trying to get a little better lighting here until they turn the lights off. There we go. There we go. I should have started it here. Yeah, so. Wow. I mean, that's amazing. I don't even know like I contacted it's about divine time who's also a medium in a sense and does tarot card readings but she's taking a break right now and I really don't know how that's gonna go if she's even gonna be willing to work with me because I can't afford to pay her but what I can do is do these these healing sessions with her but you know she 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 probably has access to some kind of energy healing on her own but I don't know. I don't I don't think I mean this isn't Reiki. This isn't the same thing. This is very different. I mean I did the in-person healing session with a Reiki master and like it blew their mind. Like the first session they were like, Whoa. You know what I mean? Like is an experienced light worker, experienced energy Reiki master that I was testing out my abilities, my energy healing works on them and they that first thing they said is like wow that was crazy like wow you know it's not the same thing this is a a reconnection it's reconnect you with your spirit this reconnects you with the world with the universe it reconnects everything you know we we've been cut off our 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 ley lines and meridian lines in our bodies used to flow out into the universe into the world but now they stop at the ends of our bodies and this frequency is there to you know, reignite those to re extend them if you will past the the outside of your body they don't stop there anymore they, they the, the the feelers start coming back out you know and it reconnects you with with mother nature with the world with your spirit, with the universe, with your guides, with everything. Everything has happened to me on an accelerated scale since I learned these frequencies, since I had a distance healing session with Case, which was back in November, like the beginning of November, I think. Maybe it was October, I don't remember, but still, it, was, it wasn't that long ago, four or five months ago, three, four months ago. Man, I've been touched by spirits since then. Literally, like touched my knee, and the person I was on the phone with touched their other knee. Uh, like the, the spirit touched my left knee while I was driving, and at the exact same time, the person I was on the phone with touched their right knee. Exact same time. We're all connected deeper than most people realize. It's absolutely fascinating. We're all connected. We're all part of this, this higher consciousness, this higher mind that, you know, that's why there's, there's no like new original ideas. Like everyone's thinking the same things and everyone's making a video about the same things at the same times. That's not a coincidence. There are no coincidences. There are no accidents. Everything happens for a reason. Man, 
That was absolutely, that absolutely just made my day. Man, that's, that's just awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Jody. We will, uh, we'll set up another session here in the future. Let this one settle in a little more, but I'll do another free one for you. And everybody, please like, oh crap, please like the video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. You know, I have a PayPal link below if you want to, you know, help support the channel. I am going to be moving to full time work with this energy healing, the spiritual guides and whatever else I can think of that I get excited about, that I become passionate about when I think about it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move fully into that. I'd really like to travel around the world, around the country at least to start with, you know, get my car ready for, uh, for whatever, make sure it's all up to par so I could drive wherever I wanna go to meet you guys. So let me know where you're at if you want to do this 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 healing sessions in person with me that would be great also i haven't heard any replies from anybody about doing these group energy sessions group healing sessions i need to talk to case and see if we can work together and see how that works if it's amplified if him and i and bonesy are all pulling the frequencies through for a collective amount of people for the group people or Case might do some one day, I'll do some another day. I don't know, I need to work into that network somehow. I need to find a way to get out to California to do this training seminar so I could become a certified reconnective healing practitioner, which I don't feel like I need to do because I can do it already. I don't think there's anything special, anything different, other than you gotta spend $3,000. I would have to spend $3,000 and wait probably a year before I could complete everything but I don't have three thousand dollars I haven't manifested that yet and there's a lot of things going on in my life right now that I'm trying to work through and get situated and set up to move into my next level to level up to go 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 I just want to go oh man I'm so excited about this stuff guys so passionate about this Alright, it's dark now, I know. You guys don't like watching darkness. But you can't find light without the dark. You can't find the truth. Or the, what is it? The truth hides in dark places. You have to go into the dark to find the light. That's what it was. It. That's what it is. You have to go into the dark find the light yes I'm, yes I'm, yes I'm, yes I'm. all right I just edited my other uh, video Seth speaks chapter one part two and I got some good responses from that so I think I'm gonna keep going I also felt led to uh, do another universe asking universe guided chapter reading from Solomon speaks so in other words, you know, just just fan through it until uh, and pick a section out and see see what the universe or my guides or whatever have to say to me. Uh, we'll see how it goes tonight. So you can get the kids to bed on time. I don't know why I'm telling you this because by the time I load this video, it'll already be done or not done. So, anyways, I'm rambling on. I'm excited. Love you guys. Be the change you want to see in the world. Love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. You can't love anything else. Love everything. Everything is energy. Everything is consciousness. Everything is frequency. Love it all. Be grateful for all of it. Be thankful for everything. For the trees, the air, everything. Everything you have, be grateful for it. And manifest abundance. That's what I'm working on. And that doesn't mean, you know, get rich. I just like living an abundant life and an abundant spiritual life. I am very poor now, but I am living in abundance. Because you can't put a price on what I have now. 
You can't. There's no amount of money in the world to buy what I have. It's not for sale. You can't buy it. You got to do the work. And trust me, it's worth doing. It's worth every bit of your time. When you put your energy and focus into something, it's worth it. Don't put your energy and focus in anything that isn't worth it, that isn't serving your highest good. Because then you're just wasting your time and energy. I love you. Be good to one another. And I'll be back real soon. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>